been so long. Oh, wow. You feel flat. Uh, not fully. Make sure there's no spiders in this thing. Do you still work? She still works. Uh, 66, eh, that's enough for what I want to do today. It still works. Ten months? Almost a year? Come on, come on, Zanin. Come on, man. So, where I've been? Where I've been? Nobody cares. But in case there are some people who care, uh, I've just been, I've been being a consumer, what can I say? I've been consuming content, been living life, I've been working. It's not just that though. YouTube is kind of annoying, man. It's not the politics. The main thing I don't like is the algorithm. It's like everybody is forced into pigeonholing their channel. Like, I never set out for my channel to be only about e-bikes. The only content I create that actually gets pushed is, uh, is biking content. Boo-hoo! Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. This is serious. Why can't I do something different and still get views? Like, why can't somebody who makes hiking content also make biking content? It's annoying. I, a lot of things interest me. This is hanging with Zanin. But the fact of the matter is, I can't keep showing you this same exact ride every single time. Boring! Alright, well I got a couple errands I'm running, so let me handle that now. One of my favorites, PL Burger. All right, this is how I open it. Mm. My God, by far the best breakfast burrito in town. Yeah, so to talk a little bit more about the whole niche and pigeonholing on YouTube, it's just frustrating as a creator. If you make a quality video, no matter what you normally make, it should be put into a, at least a fair category of being shared. But, you know, I just sound like somebody complaining. You know, classic YouTuber burnout type stuff. Also, you know, I just needed to focus on work, make some of that cast cheese cheddar, make some of that dough. I needed to uh, save up a little bit more because uh, I made a big investment and uh, you all will be finding out about that shortly. Also, I don't have many options in terms of where I go. I don't have a vehicle that I could carry my bike to trails at with. So everything I do has to be within 30 miles of my house, which there are some options, but uh, just not too much content I'm able to do. Not until I get a truck and a good, uh, good rack for it. I decided I'm gonna start doing some backpacking videos. I am really fat and out of shape, so I figure this will help me get into better shape. Being that I drive a Mercedes-Benz C230 compressor, <laughs> lowered with a Brabus upgrade, I can't go on dirt roads. All right, I'm just unable. I want to be able to take my car, my, my car with my bike and go places and explore the area that I, I find with my vehicle. And with my Mercedes, it's just like, I, I can't even attach a bike rack. I can't even attach a bike rack. I have a lot more gray since the last time I filmed a video. Time waits for no man. I did do a few videos where it was like editing other people's work and then uh, adding my commentary. I, I like that. If you guys like that, please let me know below. 
I can make more of that content. It's so good. Mm. So for those of you who been who kept up with my weight loss journey, number one, thank you. I appreciate you. Your kind words and your your motivational comments, they did help. They did help. I really appreciate you guys watching those videos. Those are some of my favorite to make. can't even enjoy it fully because I have to pick you guys up and bring you with me. It wasn't so long ago when I said I have a goal in mind, but it's unlikely because I am just really out of shape. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> it's been years. But in terms of my weight loss, you know, I've kind of hovered around the same, around 200 pounds. I do plan on bulking up here in the near future, which is one of the reasons I'm coming back. You guys are gonna watch me transform yet again. This time, instead of going from fat to slim, I'm gonna go from slim to fit, but I'm not gonna do the whole, <laughs> again, I don't wanna get pigeonholed into being the, the exercise guy. So I just have to figure out a way to somehow still find viewership while doing all sorts of different content because all the people that I gain while doing exercise as subscribers. Are they gonna stick around when I wanna make a video about outer space? <sighs> or when I wanna make a video about conspiracy theories? Do you understand that? Turn, Turn the, the freaking frog game! game. Bow, bow, serious crap! Or when I wanna make a video about politics? Do not come. I'm gonna come. Do I just make a general channel? Is that a thing? If you want to make money on YouTube, you have to follow a formula. The Mr. Beast formula. This is one of the dirtiest. This is the most expensive. I just bought that private. This is. God, I hate it. I hate it so much. All the stuff going on with him. <laughs> I can't finish this. Well, not quite. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, he makes the shot. <laughs> it's been fun hanging with you and talking with you. Time to hit the trail. That would have been way smoother had it been opened. All right, let's roll. All right, so what's going on with my channel moving forward? There is one big thing I haven't told you about, which is gonna be a staple of the channel. The same as this bike has been the staple for this channel up till now. Let me go, well, you know what? Instead of talking about it, let me go show you. Oh, it's been a while, baby. It's been a while. <laughs> I really did. Ah, what, what was I waiting for? Oh, that's right. It's been in the oven for the past three months. It's so damn hot. Coming up to the ramps. Oh, wow. They have upgraded these big time. There you go. I've lost my biking legs. Been sitting inside way too much. Way too much. So rusty. Oh man, it's been so long. Lazy ass just sitting here and just watching the earth in the freaking camera.
That's right. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. That is absolutely right. I got myself a forerunner. Now, I will be able to take my e-bike as soon as I get a bike rack. If you know of a good one, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to know good brands to actually look for for a bike rack. So get ready, gentlemen and ladies. Maybe there's a couple ladies watching. Get ready for adventures. Thanks for hanging with Zane. Peace.